<laughs> I'll say the wolf is out. <laughs> hey everybody, this is not a spring chick. And the wolf is out. Oh, wait a minute. You're thinking about the wolf on Wall Street's coming out? Well, actually, this wolf, okay, let's just say your insurance rates. Oh, let's just say, after a while, I don't care. Your insurance rates are increasing, what, have gone up 97%? Yes, minutes after the president is saying that according to the Affordable Health Care Plan, it is so reasonable that what the rates are the lowest they've been in. The, the rate of increase is the lower lowest it's been in 50 years because of the oh, act. The lowest rate increase in 50 years, and we just increased 97 percent. Wait, are we looking at different figures? No, he's reading it off a teleprompter. Mm. Well, for now, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. Yeah. And it's all over for the Republicans. You believe? Okay, this morning we have two conflicting set of information. One is that the, the White House has admitted that the, uh, the Affordable Care Act isn't affordable as it should be. And uh, the second one is that it's basically bringing down insurance rates. And the problem is, is that he blamed both of them on the Republicans. He said that uh, Repub the reason why the rates are so far high and it's not working is because the Republicans wouldn't give the money necessary to make it work. Then the second time when the rates are, are falling, well the rates would be even more competitive if the Republicans had assisted in the program. So it says the Republicans can't win according to this president. But, oh, we'll more later, so. Oh, and last minute Obamacare exemption for those with council plans? Oh, yeah. He's going to, get, he's ordering the insurance companies to put all of these people that had their catastrophic insurance canceled and had better plans to be given the plans for nothing now, which basically will not give them the same services they had before, but it's not going to cost them anything, so they should be grateful that the president is going to let them have a plan that is not as good as the plan that he says are good plans and worse than the one they had. Uh, but they said that though, they expect many great success stories to come out of this one. Here began, he said, the reporter from one of the networks said this morning to their people, I said, your plan is they're going to give you the success stories. He said, are there 7 to 11 million success stories? He said, well, no. He said, there's 7 to 11 million people that are negative stories. But our success stories are going to overwhelm. He said, are there 7 to 11 million? They said, no, but people, the President of the United States is going to explain to people how he done this night over 400 times and he can't build, you know. They said, um, okay, here's one of the reporters this morning talking about it. He said he had a conversation with his children and he said they were using the vernacular that college students use to one another, effing this, effing that, effing you, effing the President, like we're not going to do, we're not going to sign up. Then another one, we're not stupid like the man seems to think we are. Mm. They're not going to sign up to, like the woman said, they told me they're not going to sign up to pay for my medical care. They said, that's what I got a job to do. Mm. So it's just not going to happen. Only, okay, he also, he, um, he, he was reading everything on the paper. According to him, almost uh, one quarter of all the people they need to sign up for the plan to make it work have already signed up. That was right after this morning they announced 187,000 people have signed up, but he said now they have one quarter. It's just like what Herbie said. Oh, Herbie Daddy said the President of the United States has been hanging around Ron Bundy too much because if the President of the United States was given, he said, can I say that? Okay. He said the pre if they put it on the, a, a, on the teleprompter that says specifically this morning, I went to the toilet and I used Charmin to wipe my rear. Mm. He would say it because he's just reading what is put in front of him. He has no comprehension of what is actually going on in this country. And this is what the one guy said uh, earlier. He said, I'm, I, well, actually one of the comics that basically supported him said, I have two fears. One of them that this man is as stupid as he seems to be, or the second that he knows exactly what he's doing. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, he said this morning, he's as stupid as he seems to be. He's incompetent. And pressure mounts on Ukraine leader ahead of Russia visit. Oh, he told this told the West to basically f you. We're going to go back to the Soviet Union, even though the people in the country have said we're not going back to this. We're not going back to become a Soviet part of the Soviet Union again. He's a hardline communist. He basically got elected by uh, by the typical means that dictators do, and he's going. He's basically 
Putin is going to give them free oil and free sugar from Cuba and all of this stuff mm -hmm. and, and give $15 billion to the economy so the people will forget how bad things are. Well, no, they want stuff from the West. They don't want stuff from the Soviet Union that isn't as good and overpriced as they would get. And U.S. fears North Korean execution could be the prelude to provocation. Oh, don't worry. The President of the United States answered a, a foreign journalist this morning. He said, the United States is sticking up for your, for your country and other countries throughout the world. Uh, we're not going to be pushed around. Well, uh, let's see. The Muslims are pissed off at us. The Indians are pissed off at us. The Pakistanis are pissed off at us. The Japanese are pissed off at us. The Australians are pissed can we name the countries that are not pissed off at us in the universe? I guess mm -hmm. Iran. Mm -hmm. And NYC Council considers an electronic cigarette ban. Yeah, I mean, they, they, first of all, uh, okay, we have uh, we 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 do we do multimedia stuff. We're, we're a production house. Besides that, the, the we have several female characters in some of our series that uses electronic cigarettes, so they don't smoke. They use, it's vapor, nothing but water vapor that is puffed out. I mean, I'll give you an example. When the, the JC knows it, when the, when, when the BC was a little tiny girl, I used to go to the candy store and buy her candy cigarettes, and which we drive by, she'd sit there and take one of the candy cigarettes out and then uh, puff the baking powder out that was in it. You don't think we have problems or anything. That little girl is smoking, and then it's like, uh -huh. candy cigarettes. <laughs> And probe into London theater ceiling collapse, which injured 76. The building's 170 years old. Oh. It basically finally age hit it. At the, and the weather is ungodly bad. Okay, we global warming is a fact. Scientists all over the world consider it a fact. The weather has been horrendous even for England this year. Mm. It is cold and snowy and everything. And North Korea explodes myth of unchallenged Kim Dynasty. Well, yeah, they always challenge, but they end up dead. That's why, oh, the President of the United States, the Republican leaders don't understand that dictators are not nice people. Mm -hmm. And Southeast Asia eyes Chinese air zone expansion. Uh, oh, and the President of the United States has already let, the President of the United States has told American air carriers that they are to avoid that airspace while the rest of the world is being told is safe. He has now said, the President of the United States has already accepted their airspace restrictions, which he should never have done because he, you know, basically when you owe the Chinese government as much as our country does and he's responsible for borrowing, you tend to kiss their butts when they want something done. Mm -hmm. And Casey Anthony won't have to pay most of her debts. Oh, she's got to pay the debts to the federal government, though. Uh, she has a student debt and she couldn't wipe the student debt off on her bankruptcy. Oh. People didn't realize that until now. What do you mean? Well, the laws have been changed. If you declare bankruptcy, you have to pay your student loan back. I mean, okay, you can't pay for your house. Well, too bad. You can't pay for the hospital bills that kept you from dying. Too bad. You can't pay for your automobile. You need to get back and work. Too bad. But you got to pay your, um, you gotta your, student, pay your loans. student loan now. And California Governor Jerry Brown would easily win re-election the poll. There's nobody going to elect that. He's going to be like 80 years old and run for governor. Mm -hmm. His father tried to do that. He would. This would be his fourth term as governor of the state of California. I stuck with about 30 years in between. And with U.S. ties frayed, Saudi calls for Gulf Union. Yeah, well, that's never going to happen. Mm -hmm. And super bug bacteria widespread in the U.S. chicken consumer group. Well, the, what happened is, is that people are not cooking, they're crudding turk chicken like they should be. It has to be cooked all the way through. They're not, and basically what happens is they don't kill the bacteria in it. Uh-huh. And Rand Paul, my wife says no to presidential bid. I mean, like she's told him a half a dozen times now and nobody will listen. He said, uh, you know, I said, I'm not afraid of my wife. Yeah. That's what he said. Yeah. So he's not going. The same thing as um, Mike Huckleby. Mike Huckleby to run for president would have to give up the home that he's building and the job and the, new, and the news organization that he's creating right now. Really? Why? Yeah, because he can't have him and run for president. Oh, because he's a news organization. The, yeah, he cannot pay the bills uh, on, on that he's running up and run for president. That's, that's basically a gimme. He's not going to run, folks. 
And Ukraine's Yanukovych sees no alternative to close trade relations with Moscow. Well, you know, he has to say the people don't want it, but he doesn't care because he's a hardline Soviet. Oh, and I have to include this one. North Dakota says man in same-sex marriage may wed a woman, too. Yeah, and they also said, and I also one of the states this morning ruled that they see no nothing in the Constitution that prohibits a, a man from marrying his horse. Mm -hmm. I knew that was coming. You knew it was coming. And a Monty Bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Uh, it basically, that... Uh, you should actually do your homework before you do a national news address. <laughs>